Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I have for you a process on how to be able to re-enable fingerprint gestures on our OnePlus 6. Now the process I'm going to use today will work on rooted and unrooted devices slightly differently, but by the end of this video, you're going to be able to expand your notification panel using your fingerprint sensor on the OnePlus 6. This is TK, let's check it out. What we have in front of us is two different versions of the OnePlus 6. We have a rooted OnePlus 6 and a stock OnePlus 6. Both of them work very well. Uh, what the only thing that differences between the two is that the way this application that I'm going to share with you guys today works, it works slightly differently on both devices, but the end result is still the ability to use our fingerprint sensor to expand our notification panel. Now, the application I'm referring to is called Fingerprint Quick Action. Let's go ahead and turn it on right there. And installing it from the Google Play Store is pretty simple. The link for that will be in the description below, of course. Turning the service on enables us to use it. And as you notice right here on both sides, I'm running it slightly differently. I do have the single tap turned on where I don't have it running here, and I'll explain to you why. The reason behind this is what we're using here is a root method that will enable us to actually get notification panel or the ability to open. Well, let's go ahead and make sure that our device is not things right here it is. You could see I'm swiping to be able to bring down my notification panel on my OnePlus 6. This is not a tap. Now on the OnePlus 6 that's not rooted, the same functionality works. I just have to tap the notification panel, the, the fingerprint sensor. So by tapping on it, it actually gives me access to the notification panel. So again, the application will work in both methods. If you have root, it will work way better. Now, when you do have this, there's a couple ways of installing it on the stock non-rooted device. All you need to do is install it, turn the service on, turn on the single tap, and then assign the action that you'd like. And that's how it pretty much works. Now it has also the ability of running a double tap with the ability of kind of setting a separate action so you can run two. This fast swipe and quick tap action does not work on the OnePlus 6. It is experimental, but the double tap does. So you can turn this on, turn on the delay factor, let's say 500 milliseconds, and then basically the additional action that you'd like to do, and you can customize it. Where it's a little bit different here on the rooted device, you go under the non-exposed method, and I don't have exposed installed here, I do have Magisk. You go under the forced uh, foreground service so that the system doesn't disable it. Now that will generate a notification for you, but you can hide it automatically. And then under the screen off method, you'll notice right there, by default, it's set to be shortened timeout. That says what it's recommended. But you notice the last one, which is calling the hidden API, which is a root functionality. By collecting that or selecting it, you can actually enable this functionality across UI. So using fingerprint sensor back on our OnePlus 6 to initiate the locks, the, uh, you know, you can actually change obviously the action, but to be able to open up the, uh, the notification panel is very nice. Conversely, if you have a custom launcher installed, you can of course do this, but this actually works over applications as this is running on the fingerprint sensor. Hopefully you found this process very easy. The app itself is available on the Google Play Store and please do support the developer if you appreciate this work. Uh, the main thing is of course, if you're rooted, this is gonna be really cool and it will bring back that exact swipe to open up the notification panel functionality. If you're non-rooted, you can actually still use it. It's just more of a single tap and you have that secondary function of turning on the double tap. Although keep in mind on the rooted device, do not turn those functions as they will disable the swipe functionality. If you do want them, obviously turning them on will make them work. Uh, very easy, very simple. If you're thinking or if you've already unlocked and you rooted your device, this is definitely cool. If you want to know how to do that, I'll give you guys a link in the description below, not only how to do that process of unlocking your device, but also how to bring back the always on display on our OnePlus 6 if you missed that, as it seems like that was a feature that was there when you first got your phone and then it was removed by installing the first update from OnePlus. Like and subscribe as usual. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you very much for the support. And by the way, this entire video was actually based on a comment that I received on my OnePlus 6 video that I did earlier this week on how to improve the audio output on our OnePlus 6. So keep those comments coming. I'll talk to you guys in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next video.